everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you, with Sunny. Junior's over there, Papa's by the door. And last night, late last night, it was dark outside, the UPS guy pulled up and dropped me a beautiful, beautiful package. So, you know what time it is? Okay, I have to admit, I did the ch -ch thing last night because I was just so excited about it. It was really, really heavy and I'm like, Whoa. All right. So, um, this package is from Mary. Mary, um, I think her name is Mary Gives Faith. Um, she's been kind of like my, one of my sisters in Christ. Um, and she's provided me with an abundance of meaningful verses for me to kind of think about and, and use in my own life. So, um, first of all, uh, I opened up the box and there was this beautiful note and it says, We cannot never outgive our Heavenly Father. Dear Anne, I have so enjoyed your Christian character and the lovely True to Life videos you have devoted your time to bring to us. You're blessed in so many ways. Yes, I am. Because you always acknowledge Him. So he enjoys hearing, um, he so enjoys hearing our praises, songs, and yes, our human frailties, and I have many frailties. We are so special to him. I know that when I fail in giving him 100% of his due devotion, his son feels the, de um, his son feels the deficit so that I, I I'm, I'm just shaking. This letter is so awesome. His son feels the deficit so that I may stand once again in his fullness of grace and mercy. And so will you and many of our brethren. Please enjoy my canned meats. Okay, so when I opened it, um, it was this was in the, in, in the flap. So I didn't even see what was in there. And when I heard canned meats, I'm like, oh my gosh. Please enjoy my canned meats for many months to come. They will provide your pantry with goodness as they have mine. Um, oh, and then she says dot dot dot. Did I mention we can we cannot never outgive our he heavenly Father? Wink, wink. <laughs> then she shares she shares um, Psalm eighteen verse six with me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my Elohim. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. That is beautiful. So this is going to be another letter that I'm definitely going to save forever. I mean, I save them all. I do. And when I get kind of, you know, funky, I pull them out. So let's get into this box. Oh, my gosh. Okay, first of all, this was on top. She's providing me with dessert, too, confetti cookie mix. And it's so funny because I was at the store the other day, and I was thinking, gosh, I would love to bake some cookies, but... You know, my budget is super duper tight right now. Very, very tight. Um, so I didn't get the cookies. I didn't get the cookies, but she sent me cookies, so I'm going to be able to make these. I can make them in the Coleman Camp oven. No problem. All right. Let's get started with the stuff that she didn't make herself. All right. There are three cans of this. This is um, canned beef. I've never used the beef before. I've had this exact same brand in the pork, and it's what I have many times put in a pot of beans, and um, it's delicious. I mean, I, I, I like it. I truly do. So I am anxious beef with juices to put this in, I don't know, something, maybe pot of beans, maybe a stew or something like that. So there are three of these big, huge jars of beef and they last like forever so let me put these down real quick okay next for the loveliness this is so exciting because I have never had canned meat before I wanted to learn how to do it I don't have a pressure cooker um, but look oh gosh okay this is beef she wrote the expiration dates on it for me Oh, it's going to last till 2025. Oh, my gosh. Canned beef with the juices and the fat. I am sure that this is going to taste better than that banner sausage stuff that I used. But it, the banner sausage does have good flavor. And this is like ground beef. So there's so many. I can make tacos with it. I can, oh, just so many different things. So there's one, two, three of those. Three jars of canned beef that she canned 
by herself. I cannot wait. In fact, I'm going to have to cook something with, with one of them today. And then there are two of canned chicken. Also good till 2025. Oh my gosh. Canned chicken with the juices and fat. And you got to have a little fat to digest the rest of your food well. And, um, you know, you just got to, you know, control how much fat you get. But you can't cut fat out of your diet altogether because you're not going to be healthy. So she sent me one. She sent me two big, huge jars of this chicken. This will make, I don't know, probably three or four meals just for me. Um, unless I share some with the puppies. And this is this is better than the anything you're ever going to buy in the store. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get, oh, and plenty of bubble wrap. No, I'm not going to roll down a hill at a milestone, but I am going to save it, and I'm probably going to do something with it insulation-wise. Uh, somewhere, like maybe back in that crevasse, back over over the porch, anyhow. Um, it came packed so beautifully, and nothing was broken, and it came via UPS, that's why. So, Mary, thank you so much. This is just... Oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys this again. I mean, my mouth is literally watering right now just thinking about making something with this. So, I don't know. What do you think? Should I make something with beef or with chicken? Beef, chicken, beef, chicken. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it and I'll let you know later. Oh, I wanted to show you something. I got crafty and uh, Donna B for Christmas had sent me these little lights and I kind of strung them up over the Christmas tree hanging that she sent me. But I kind of wanted to make something, so I went to the dollar store and just got this. Got that. And the moss and the lichen is from my property. Here, let me put it in the dark so you can see it, and it looks really pretty. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. It looks really pretty, though. It's got two mushrooms. The little sign says, Welcome. And I use it as a little night light. And then I have the other lights stringed up around my shelves. And they come on automatically at a certain hour after it's dark and stay on until after I'm well asleep. So, yeah, I made myself a thing. Yeah, it doesn't look as good in the light, but that's okay. You can see all the strings. At nighttime, it just looks like little fairy lights. And, yeah, I like that lichen in there. I think it looks pretty cool. It makes a great night light. I'm in my kitchen now, and while I was at the dollar store, I wanted something to put on the back of this that I could put stuff in, so I just found these. Um, it, they're not going to be able to hold very much. They're just kind of like looped over the back there, and I got this bowl too because I, didn't, I needed a, another mixing bowl type thing, um, and uh, it's just, you know, hooked over there over the back of it, but uh, yeah, so I can put light things in it. You know, right now I've just got some dehydrated fruit. I got some bacon bits over there, some blueberries, but I like the color and I can put stuff in it, so that's cool. I think what I can do um, to make them stay a little bit better is uh, connect them with some actual wire, so I think I'm gonna do that. Yep, more storage space. That's, that's at a premium in a tiny house. Well, I didn't do much other filming today. I cut down some wood, cut up some wood. Yeah, there's some of it. Some of it's in the fire. I did split up the rest of that big pile that I had, and I've stacked it up. I've stacked it up outside, and I'll show you that tomorrow. But it's been mild today, so I figured I'm just going to start a fire out here. I have not burned a fire in this fire pit for so long, and I'm hoping that I can cook most of my food over this in the summertime because it's going to be too hot for the wood burning stove inside. But I haven't decided what I'm going to cook yet with the chicken or the beef that Mary sent me. I don't know. I think by the time it's it, by the time I'm going to be cooking, it's going to be too dark out here anyhow, so maybe I'll just let you know tomorrow what I ended up cooking. I'm just going to sit here and relax until the chickens put themselves to bed. I'm going to secure their little coops. And, I don't know, I'll just sit out here until it's too cold to sit out here anymore. I just love a fire. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.
Thank you.